So now that we've gone through the basics of trading, we're now reaching the state where we want to trade um, with a, a bit more certainty. And the easiest thing for you to do is to start looking at charts to give you an idea of how a market is behaving. So if we're looking at this particular market here, just by looking at where the odds are, you know, the odds will move up, they'll move down, they'll meander all over the place. One of the useful features that we have on BetAngel is, are the micro charts. So these basically tell you where short term price movement is going. So you can see here, Ultimatum du Roy um, has suddenly been backed in for some reason. We don't know particularly the reason why that's the case, but we can see that um, on the micro chart here. If you click on his name, then what it will actually do is show a chart. So you can see here, you can, you can ignore some of this early stuff because there's no um, volume here. So what we're looking at here, are these are the odds at which it's traded at. This is the amount of money that's been put through, the volume. And the lines underneath here that you can see um, are the amount of volume that was going through at that particular moment in time. So you can see here there's a large spike here and that was saying that about £500 was bet an ultimatum to Roy at this point in the market. And you know, you can hypothesize exactly what's going on um, by the price activity that follows after the volume. So you can see here there's a large amount of volume that's gone through this market, 500 pound, and then the price on ultimatum to Roy is gradually coming in. So that's the first thing I see in this market, you know. There's um, a bit of activity for this horse um, and people are obviously backing it and seem to like it. So what you can do on BetAngel is once you've brought up a chart, you can pin it to the top. So if we pin that chart, we can keep an eye on what's going on on that horse. That was the first thing we noticed in the market. And therefore, you know, we can keep an eye on it by popping it over there and keeping an eye on the price activity that's going on there. You can change the rate at which it refreshes as well. So, you know, we can have it not refreshing at all, or we can have it refreshing at different intervals from within there. Or we can click on here and it will refresh it. Now you can also see there's a percentage here. What, what's that? Well, this is the inverse of odds. I haven't explained that very well, <laughs> but I will now do that. Um, the inverse of odds is the percentage implied chance of this horse winning the race, or whatever you're clicking on, football team, uh, NBA, NFL, uh, tennis, whatever. And you can see here that the implied chance of this horse was at 8, which is about 12 and a half. If you're good at maths, you should be able to do that in your head. And you can see that basically people um, think the chance of this horse winning the race is getting higher and higher. It's up to you whether you want to use one chart or both. Um, this gives you a slightly smoother interpretation of what's going on than the odds. The odds can move around a little bit. But this is basically telling you that people think this horse has a better and better chance of winning this race. So we can tell from here that this horse is being backed in. And therefore maybe we should take an interest in that. Uh, but if we look at some other graphs, we can see how that compares to activity in the market. So you can immediately see that there is a bias in this market. Some are being backed, some are being laid. And if we look at Allerton, you can see that uh, that's pretty much going nowhere, actually. But the great thing about these charts is you can actually set up BetAngel and put these charts wherever you like. You can actually shrink them as well if you want to make them bigger uh, or smaller. And then when you've actually created a layout that you like, you can actually keep this layout. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go over here and we're going to do view and save screen layout as. So if we call this Peter's one click layout, then basically that saves uh, that information for you. The chart on Allerton has disappeared because I didn't pin it. So you need to pin them. So let me save that layout again. There we go. So we now have a layout called Peter's One Click Layout. And every market that I go to will start looking like that immediately I join, in, join the market. It will start displaying that information straight away. But you can see here, you know, previously we've traded blind. We haven't used charts. But what you can see here is that there are biases in the market. So we'd probably want to be looking to back this one. We'd probably be wanting to look to lay that one. And you can use the same... Uh, characteristics and features that we've seen before you know we can see that there's a bit of a bias in the market so if we were going to do an offset bet we'd offset by one set it up exactly the same way that we'd done before um, and then we'd say okay we're going to back ultimatum de Roy hopefully that order will get filled and look, it's moved already so we'll try and back him at 7.8 we'll cancel that one 
if we can get ultimatum to Roy filled at 7.8, Bet Angel will place the offset bet at 7.6, and if this trend continues downwards, um, then we will have a profit, and you can see somebody's beaten us to it already. Somebody's nipped in there in front of us. So we'll try again. But can you see how you know the market is telling us this? By looking at the charts, we can get an idea of a horse that is favoured. We don't know why this horse has been favoured. All we know is that people uh, want to back it. People really do want to back it. And if we think that this trend is strong enough that we can jump in in front of it, we'll just do that. So I've just backed it at 7. Uh, Bet Angels offset it to 6.8. So if the price comes down to 6.8, in fact, it's gone out a little bit. It's just spiked out, you can see, um, to 7.4. But we can still see that the trend is coming down here. We can see Final Assault is going out. We can see that Allerton is going out. Um, so it's very likely that those orders actually will get filled. So the first one's been taken, and our order has gone through, and we've made a profit. We're waiting for the second one to get taken at 6.8. And when that gets taken at 6.8, We'll have a two pound profit. But can you see how we've just used charts um, to elevate our knowledge of the market a little bit better, to squeeze out some of those biases that are occurring in the market and take advantage of that? Now, you know, somebody somewhere is backing Ultimatum to Roy because they think it's really good, it's being heavily um, tipped somewhere, or, you know, somebody's got some knowledge on this particular horse. But we don't care about that really. We're looking at what's happening within the market, anticipating what is about to happen, and then profiting on that by trading. So ultimatum de Roy, we've got a £2 profit on. If we click the green column here, you can see we can hedge that for a guaranteed profit across the field. But the net effect is we're not going to lose on this race. We're not going to lose um, if anything else wins if we don't hedge it, um, or we can hedge it across the entire field to ensure that we win whatever the result. But there we've used charts to predict the direction of something and hopped on the back of that trend and profited um, by doing that.